Hey friends, it's great to have you back for another episode of News You Can Eat. I'm Chef Walter, and today in this particular episode, I shall discuss a fascinating topic that I'm sure many of us have uh, wondered about, or at least had to deal with at some point, if you're on a kitchen like I do, the truth about food that never expires and the confusion that it's created behind the label dates. So first, let's delve into the list of immortal foods that you can safely keep in your pantry without worrying about their expiration date. We begin with honey, for instance, a timeless pantry staple that always goes good due to its low water content and of course, a natural acidity. Next in line will be salt, despite its tendency to clump together because of humidity. It's also a great staple to have on hand as it never really goes wrong, but it does pick up a, a little smell just like sugar at some point. Other items on the list include rice, dried beans, uh, dry pasta, vinegar, pure vanilla extract, sugar, and even hard liquor. Although some of these ingredients, I suggest you use them as quick as possible. Uh, don't wait too long. Uh, let's move on to the food label dates, which can often be a source of confusion for many of us. It's essential to understand, for instance, that terms like sell by date or best by date and use by date do not necessarily indicate that the food has gone wrong or has spoiled. The sell by date uh, is meant for retailers and not the consumer. In contrast, the best by or use by date only indicates peak quantity or quality, not safety. So it's crucial to avoid throwing away delicious food just because we mistakenly uh, don't understand the terminology. I know the FDA hasn't been clear about this and uh, the rules are really changing all the time. Instead, really trust your senses, give the food a good sniff, a look, and maybe even a tiny taste. Your judgment is more important than what they write on a label and it is probably the best tool that we have in determining the safety and the quality of our food. And of course, all along without saying we'll save money by not discarding food that is perfectly fine to have. In the meantime, we also reduce the waste by doing so. And so in conclusion, I hope you've learned something uh, new today. I know it could be some confusion about the terminology and maybe you have gained a fresh perspective on the truth about food exploration and label dates. In addition to that, you probably now will never forget the ingredients that will never spoil. Uh, but remember to stay curious, experiment in the kitchen, and never let arbitrary dates dictate what's good to eat. Um, cook with love and eat with joy. And I'll connect with you on the next round of news you can eat here with Chef Walter. Stay well, eat well. Ciao, ciao.